Well, I found out about my um, diagnosis when I was in uh, March of uh, 2010. Um, I was uh, diagnosed with uh, CHF, which is cardio heart failure, and was admitted to the hosp hospital immediately. Before that, I was a pretty healthy guy, nothing wrong with me or anything. And uh, everything just started with a cough, and then that cough just turned into like a pneumonia type type thing. And then uh, when we went to the hospital, they said that I had CHF. So, and even though I look healthy and, you know, I'm pretty happy and excited and have good spirits, uh, my heart is really work it's pretty bad. And they really don't put implants in people that aren't doing bad. So Wish Upon a Wedding is doing a wonderful thing for us because um, we were in the makings and the plannings of even having a wedding. But because this whole CHF thing, it just kind of sort of put a halt to everything. We are looking forward to a happy, long life. We both have good examples of longevity of marriages in our family. My grandparents have been married for about 50-something years. My parents have been married about 30-something years. So we see them, and we see both our parents and see how happy they are. If we can emulate that, that would be wonderful because I want to stay with this woman forever. I will be with this woman forever. And we're looking forward to having a house full of kids and as soon as he gets a heart and running around in the front yard with those kids and you know, we're just gonna have a happy life together. It's gonna be great. We met about six or seven years ago. Um, it was a random Wednesday night in Buckhead and we were at a party. I met Omar almost immediately and we talked all night and we danced a little bit and we've been stuck together like glue ever since. My favorite thing about Erica is her infectious smile, her caring. It's like her heart just never fills. I and mean, I can just see her spirit and the spirit makes me so happy. It makes me be the proud man I can be. It makes me strong. Without, without her, without her, I don't know if I could make make this and do this without you, baby. And I love you. I love you too. My favorite thing about Omar is his laugh. He has the biggest laugh, and even now that he's been sick, he just is amusing the doctors, telling jokes to the nurses. He has the biggest laugh. He's hilarious, and he there's not a day that goes by that he's just not cracking me up. Some of the health challenges that we have to deal with are that every night he has to sleep plugged into a machine. He's constantly on these batteries to keep the LVAD pump working, keeping his heart going. And he's really limited um, in his activity. He can, um, before he was, when he first got sick, he could only walk for maybe, maybe a couple of steps without getting breathless. And the LVAD has helped with that. But he still is limited in his activity. He's still, he was, he's a really active guy. He's a Marine. so. He's really kind of having a hard time with not being able to move around like he would like, not being able to work out like he would like and exercise like he would want to. So that's been a challenge. Well, back in 98, um, I went to attend Morehouse College. After the first year, I didn't have enough money to um, continue my uh, education. So uh, I joined the Marine Corps. I joined the fleet and went to Okinawa, Japan in 2000. After 2000, I went to um, back home to America in 2001 in Jacksonville, North Carolina. When I joined the MU, September 11th, 11th happened. We was the first people to ever hit Afghanistan, the 26th MU. We tagged up with the 15, 15 MU, and we overtook uh, Camp Rhino and also uh, Kandahar, which is the international airport. So uh, after that, I came back home and got an honorable discharge. And I was happy to serve my country and be a Marine. It's just been really hard that I'm, you know, a, a kind of can-to kind of can too kind of guy that wants to, you know, work and provide for his family and, you know, finish up my schooling and, and uh, graduate from college. And then it's just really hard on me. I think that going through the experience of this illness has definitely brought us together. Um, we were really close before. Um, we're stuck like glue on a regular day, but this has really made us where we are inseparable. I think our relationship has grown, our love has grown, and I think that the, we're going to have a fabulous marriage. Um, since we've gone through this together, there's nothing that can pull us apart. What do you say? Yes, I mean, you would think that this would be something challenging, but it has not been. Like she said, this has brought us closer together, it has made us stronger, and resolving our love for each other. 
I know I love this woman, and this woman knows she loves her man. No matter what we do in life, we have each other, and that's the most important thing. And he stayed so positive through this whole experience. The other thing that really holds us together is our faith. And the fact that we've been able to look to God and trust that this all is happening for a reason. So that keeps us smiling every day, that keeps us laughing, that keeps him joking. And everyone has been amazed about how positive that he's been. But it's just, it's really been a blessing in our lives and it's going to be a blessing for our marriage.